Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well and just had a good little holiday season and are ready for 2021 and all that good stuff. So sort of like to end the year, I wanted to do an outfit video. So I decided that we're going to review and rate my 2020 outfits, which honestly is like a weird mix of outfits because some days I would really like to like dress up and I would want to like pretend I'm going out somewhere and also there were the weeks where I was just in my pajamas forever and we're just going to kind of talk about where the pieces are from how I could have styled it better what I like about it what I don't stuff like that so let's go so the first outfit this is from January 16th so this was before everything happened and I guess I was dressing relatively normally so the necklace is from forever 21 the jacket is thrifted from buffalo exchange but it's by misguided it's like the misguided cropped puffer coat kind of um the top is also forever 21 and it's got kind of like the puff sleeves and then the pants are thrifted these are one of my favorite pair of pants the cool like snake skin design i will say i actually quite like this outfit i do like how the shirt and the shoes match i just think that that's nice i'd give this one a 9 out of 10. this next outfit again same shoes of course the pants are actually jeans that i thrifted and tie-dyed which they didn't tie-dye as much as i thought if any of you guys have ever tie-dyed you know when you're dyeing it you're like oh my gosh it's going to be completely covered there's barely going to be any white and then you unfold it and like it's 80 percent white as you can tell that's what happened with the pants but i still think they turned out cute black crop top is thrifted the belt is thrifted and then i made this little like safety pin kind of necklace i like it again it's kind of boring but i do think the pants are really really fun and i diy them so that was like a good little touch i'll give this outfit an 8 out of 10. this outfit is from may 9th we've got the air maxes of course and then these jeans they're just too small they just i think i got them i had thrifted them i think like a year or so ago and they just didn't fit anymore and that's totally fine obviously but don't wear them if they don't fit obviously so that's kind of dumb that tank top i'm obsessed with i thrifted and cropped it but it's so cute i kind of wish that i didn't wear the black it's like a black velour little zip up um I just like it kind of took away from it, but it was really cold that day. I do remember that. So I needed some sort of jacket, but I just feel like I, if I had like a white jacket that would look a lot cuter. So yeah, I'm going to give this 6 out of 10. This next outfit, I love. I am obsessed with. This is a 10 out of 10 outfit for me. Or the jean shorts are Levi's that I thrifted. I think they were like little boys shorts, and then I just cut them, frayed them. The top is the same one that I wore with the purple pants. It's just like a basic square neck top. So cute. And then the vest. The vest was the perfect addition. I couldn't figure out what to wear. It just looked too boring with the black on black look. And then I added that vest and it was just, it was exactly what I needed. So I'm obsessed with this look. I do have this little flame necklace on. It's really cute. I overall 11 out of 10 look. I'm obsessed and I'm sure I match the vest with my Air Maxes. So perfectly matched. This next outfit is one of my personal favorites. It is from September 27th and just everything i'm obsessed with it so starting off we'll go with jewelry so I have the same flame necklace and then i think that necklace came in a set with the one i'm wearing as well which is like a little bit more of like a necklace and less of a choker um the top is from ebay um it's a danica patrick like nascar kind of top it's so incredibly cute i got that probably it was for like 12 dollars, and i probably got it like five months ago I pretty much wore it every day since I had it. Um, and then these pants, these pants are fantastic. I got them from a Goodwill outlet. So I have all my rings on, of course. The majority of them are like homemade that I made from spoons or something like that. And then I'm just wearing my Air Maxes, the white shirt, the white shoes. I love it. I'm obsessed with this outfit. 10 out of 10, I would wear again. Fantastic. This next outfit is actually from the exact same day. I did a quick costume change. We were taking pictures of these purses that I made. So the little Patrick purse is, um, I made it. So that's cool, I guess. This tracksuit was from Goodwill. It was $7 together. Like both pieces were $7. And I'd always wanted like some sort of tracksuit. I used to have one, but it was like maroon. And I'm sorry, maroon? What a horrible combination. It was like kind of ill-fitting. This is the most beautiful set the pink is fantastic it's got the little like rib material down the leg which just adds like a nice little detail um and then the sleeves are ribbed fantastic the rib tank top that i'm wearing under it the white one is probably from goodwill for like 99 cents i'm wearing all my rings as well and then my air max is as you can tell i really like the white shirt white shoes combo all right this next outfit is from september 30th 
and I'm pretty sure this was like around the time I was like you know what every single time I go out or do anything or get dressed I'm gonna take a picture of it so I can like remind myself because I love looking back at all my outfit pictures this top is one of my personal favorite tops that I own I did make it myself basically just put all the pieces together with a zigzag stitch because I don't have a serger or anything like that and I think it turned out really cute and then again these black jeans that you saw in another picture I love I feel like the white little writing on the left or I guess the right whatever it's really cute matches with the white of the shirt and of course the white of my shoes and then I have all of my rings all stacked and looking cute which is fun pretty basic outfit um, and then I did wear my black mask so it was just all very cohesive and always good to have a nice black and white outfit this is kind of an example of like this I think we went to a park or something but this was my outfit and so and again just like focusing on like wearable fashion and things you're actually going to wear on a regular basis this is such like a very wearable outfit um the top oh gorgeous it's a gorgeous another NASCAR shirt from eBay as well I'm obsessed with it it's so oversized so comfortable very soft um, and then the shorts, I believe, are from a yard sale, but the gray sweat shorts, like even just like taking sweatpants and cutting them, is one of my favorite trends of all time. It's not even really a trend. Maybe it is. I don't even know. But like, I'm obsessed with it. And in the summer, I wear these shorts with pretty much anything. So they're awesome. And then I'm actually wearing a different pair of Air Maxes. These I found from the Goodwill outlet. I would give this a 10 out of 10 because I love this outfit. I love every aspect of the outfit. So it has to be a 10 out of 10. This is from October 22nd. The shirt I'm obsessed with, I did make myself, not the black shirt aspect, I did thrift that, but then I added the little denim um, letters that say vote and stitch it on there. I think it's really cute and this was such an important election. We all did great. Good work, everyone. Um, so yeah, I really like that. And then to match kind of with the light denim of the tee, I'm just wearing these cut off shorts. I honestly don't like these shorts for some reason I feel like they just fit kind of weird but I do like the trend of having a little bit longer shorts kind of like mid thigh ish so they're cute of course my air max is I believe this outfit simply because of the shirt a 9 out of 10 this outfit let's talk about it let's talk about it so I'm obsessed with this outfit this is already an 11 out of 10 but let's kind of break it down I think I got these jeans from a goodwill outlet and then I had this like fabric medium paint, fabric paint medium. Basically you just mix regular acrylic paint with this medium and then it becomes fabric paint. So I did that, painted it on there. I'm pretty sure it was like the second presidential debate. I just remember it so vividly sitting on our porch watching it. Um, and I was just painting on little cow splotches. And they turned out way better than I could have thought. The jeans fit fantastically. And then the shirt I also made, it was just a black t-shirt that I cropped and then I did a little open back detail. I think it's so cute. I'm obsessed. I honestly wouldn't mind if I wore black shoes but I don't have any black sneakers at the moment if I did I probably would have styled it with that and then it would have been like a 12,000 out of 10 but I'll give it an 11 out of 10 for now this next outfit is really not that exciting but it's from November 17th by the way I don't know why I'm sharing the dates that that's like helpful but I guess it can give you like a chronological timeline I feel like this outfit is just so easy to throw on I'm pretty sure we we're going to the dog park that day so I'm wearing this plaid little like sort of like sweatshirt flannel thing it's like one jacket though and it was from a yard sale i have this brown little rib tank top that was also from a yard sale 50 cents i believe the jeans were from goodwill outlet and i just cut the holes in the knees and then my air maxes are the same ones that were from the goodwill outlet it's just again very wearable very cute and also just like good for fall because it's kind of like the first little outfit that involves some layering which i'm obsessed with layering i think it looks so cute this outfit we have the white rib tank top goodwill the leather jacket was actually from the goodwill outlet i'm wearing the same snakeskin pants from i think the first picture these black little boots that i believe are from boohoo but they're just like little zip up booties i don't really know the purse is the same one from the yard sale and then i'm wearing the same necklace that i'm wearing now which is from a yard sale as well jacket and the boots and the purse all matching was just fantastic and then the white just kind of like made the snakeskin pants stand out a little bit more i would say this is like a 13 out of 10 i'm obsessed with it this next one is from december 17th so it was a week or two ago but this was about the time that I started watching Gilmore Girls for I think the fourth time. So of course I was channeling my inner Lorelai. I'm 
really love her style. I think it's very unique and just very cool. She always looks very put together. So I decided to wear a little button up sweater vest combo. So the button up is, I think they're actually both from the Goodwill outlet. Pants are just like some baggy kind of whatever cargo style pants. I feel like that the outfit was kind of tailored perfectly to me and my style because some people I feel like would have styled it with jeans or something, but I just feel like for me personally, I love like the baggy um, kind of pants. I think it's really cute. And then of course the button up matching the Air Max is fantastic. I'm wearing all my silver rings, which is perfect. I just really, really like that outfit. I just think it was really cute. It was a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but I felt so confident and cute the whole time I was wearing it, which is so important. So I'll give it a 10 out of 10. This next outfit I actually put on to go through the drive through of Starbucks. So I was really just dressing up for the occasion. I am in fact wearing a pearl necklace that my grandparents got for me for Christmas, which was really exciting. Um, and then I'm just wearing this little like collar under my crew neck. I feel like you guys have seen that trend a million times. Um, and then my crew neck is from a yard sale. I think it was like $3 for that Nike crew neck. I'm obsessed with it. And then the pants you've seen before. So, although it's not like my favorite outfit in the world, I would give it probably an 8 out of 10 for creativity. And finally, we have the last look, which is from two days ago, I think. This is probably my favorite shirt that I own. It's a Kyle Busch NASCAR shirt. Um, and it's like the M&M car on it. I think it was like $12 on eBay and when I saw it I was so excited I had to buy it So I'm just wearing that and then I'm wearing a white turtleneck underneath which I just realized like I guess this winter that like I can wear any t-shirt and just wear a turtleneck underneath and it actually looks cute I feel like it's a really basic outfit again But it's a great way to layer and not have to wear a jacket because I feel like my go-to used to literally be wearing a tiny little tank top and then a jacket And it's just not necessarily realistic because you still could be cold So you could even style a jacket over it over this outfit and it would be like even warmer But yeah, I would give it probably a 9.8 3 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. It was honestly really fun to film and also just like look back at all my outfits and kind of like get inspiration for more lookbooks and stuff. So yeah, um, I hope you guys all have a really good start to the new year and everyone's just staying healthy and happy in your family and in your lives. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever, comment down below, whatever you want. Um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.